say that they can barely pay the bills under the old rates. Republicans had a chance to freeze those punishing interest rates, but instead they're on vacation this week and there's no plan to fix the problem. Basically, it seems like they don't give a damn. Joining me tonight, someone who has been fighting this interest rate hike, Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, great to have you with us tonight. Why do we have it the way it is? Why is this jump going to 6.8 percent? What happened here? It's part of legislation. We extended, I believe it was for two years, uh, the subsidization of the Stafford loan program, keeping it at 3.4%. That expires tomorrow. Rates go up to 6.8%. What many of us are trying to do, understanding that this is an unmitigated disaster, is to pass legislation as quickly as we can, keeping it at 3.4% while we work on a long-term solution that will also maintain low interest rates uh, for middle-class families. Is, is this an easy lift in the Senate? I think it is. I mean, I think we absolutely have virtually every Democrat, I suspect, on board uh, to say that it is crazy to double interest loans. To put young people in this country who desperately want to go to college, who have the ability to go to college, to say, you know what, I can't go to college. I just don't want to get out of school forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 in debt. The average debt right now for a student is 27000 Many of them are more deeply in debt. Ed, what sense does it make for us as a country to have bright young people not going to college because they're worried about the debt? And then you have the kids who are graduating college deeply in debt, limited opportunities, can't buy a car, can't buy a home, can't get married, can't have kids because they're saddled with this debt. This is a disaster. Well, and then you've got a job market that is pretty soft right now. It's tough on 20-somethings coming out with a college degree. And, you know, the average uh, debt now, I believe, as you said, it was in the uh, over 20000 It almost robs people of the American dream of owning a home someday. It, they, they get started in their careers too late. Now, John Boehner says the Republicans passed a student loan bill and the Democrats are dragging their feet. What do you know about this over on the House side? Well... Sure. What I know about their student, uh, their solution uh, calls for variable interest rates. We all know that interest rates are low now. They're going up. And under the Republican proposal, interest rates will go up substantially, substantially higher than the 3.4 percent. It is a very, very bad proposal. Well, with the climate in Washington, uh, it would seem to me that this isn't going to get this isn't going to move anywhere. Do, is this one of those? Well, I'm not so sure. Ish- OK. Well, this is what I think, Ed. Look, you got millions and millions of families who are hoping and praying that their kids can get a college education. And when they ha- hear that our Republican friends in the House and some in the Senate refuse to maintain low interest rates. And by the way, Ed, here's an important point. The federal government today is making about $50 billion a year in profit from these interest rates, which we should not be doing. If we could bail out Wall Street some years ago when their greed resulted in the financial collapse of financial institutions, certainly we should not be making huge profits on low-income and middle-class families. There are a number of approaches that we can bring forward to keep interest rates low. We should also Mm -hmm. be aware, Ed, that compared to our international competition, there are schools all over Europe where kids are going to school for virtually nothing, and our rates, our cost of college is off the roof. From a competitive perspective, what we are doing is incredibly stupid. Senator Sanders, you've got big banks getting money from the Federal Reserve at a quarter of a percent. What should the rate be for students today in these economic times? And what would you be willing to, to, to settle for? Would it be a, a window, a balloon, a low rate? What, give me your perfect world on this. Well, short term, before we can figure out, get consensus for a long term plan, short term, for two years, we should at least keep rates at 3.4%. Then I think the point that you made and Senator Warren has made is that the large financial institutions today, Ed, are borrowing money at three quarters of one percent from the Fed. If we can give Wall Street money at three quarters of one percent, why in God's name does anybody think we should be charging students six, seven, eight percent and their families even more than that? 
Senator, great to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on The Ed Show. Thank you so much. Keep up the fight, my friend. Bernie Sanders.